Hi, I'm Chad Hyatt. I'm the Chief Information Officer here with Aldridge, and as an IT outsourcing provider, one of the key things that we do for our clients is help educate them about how technology is evolving and what new technologies are out there. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about how security technologies have continued to evolve and talk a bit about what next generation antivirus is and why it should be part of your overall security strategy. Traditional antivirus had definitions. It looked for patterns inside particular files and it said, oh, if I see that pattern, I know that that particular piece of software that's running on my computer is bad. And if it's got that particular piece or that particular pattern in it, then I'm going to reject the file. If it doesn't have the pattern, I'm going to let it pass through. And that's what we used to call definitions-based antivirus. And there was a very big deal and a big push about making sure that the definitions in your antivirus were always current. Well, that was great. But then today, there's tens of thousands, there's hundreds of thousands of potential threat variants. And it becomes very difficult for an antivirus software that is definition-based to keep current with all the things that could be bad on a particular machine. So antivirus vendors have shifted to next generation antivirus, which is not definition based, it's risk based, it's behavior based. It's not looking at what the software is, it looks at what the software is trying to do in the environment. And if it's doing things that suggest that it could be malicious or that it's doing things that are high risk, the next generation antivirus software can step in and stop that process to challenge it. What does a next generation antivirus tool do if it does detect something risky in the environment? Well, it could stop that process from running. And some of those next generation antivirus tools can actually take it a step further. Like we have tools in our portfolio and a number of our client organizations that can detect a risk, that can notify the network operations team or the support team of a risk, or at the highest level, if they're very confident that the behavior is particularly risky, they can even roll the risk back. They can roll the computer back in time before the risk first started making changes. In a lot of cases, the next generation antivirus software, at least at the higher tier of products, can communicate across your whole organization such that if one computer detects risky behavior, it can then collaborate with its peers and say, are you also seeing risky behavior? Are you seeing risky behavior? And it can use that to weigh in to what it's actually going to stop and remediate. And if one computer happens to remediate a threat after detecting it, it can then inform its peers, I saw this pattern, be on the watch for this. And if you see this chain of events, you can jump in that much sooner to stop it. So why do you need next generation antivirus? Well, the reality is the threat landscape out there is so varied and can change very quickly that keeping track of what's risky just by knowing that's a bad program, that's a bad program, that's a bad program, can't keep up with the rate of security today. Next generation antivirus, by being behavior-based and risk-based, can take immediate action even on threats that haven't been seen in the wild before. If your organization happened to be the first one to get this particular piece of malware, a traditional definitions-based antivirus couldn't see it. But a threat-based antivirus, a next generation antivirus can, and it can then take that appropriate action against it. It's an important piece of the overall security of the organization where we don't want to just look for things that were already known or that we're expecting. We're looking for the unknown. We're looking for things that deviate from patterns. And that's overall where we're seeing security move for most of our clients. Any antivirus product, any security product can't run completely on autopilot. And while a lot of these products, when you're subscribed to the appropriate tiers, can take active remedial action on their own to make it fast, they still need to be reviewed by a network operations team or a security operations team or a support team that can review the alerts that came up from that antivirus to make sure that it's still doing the right thing for the organization. There are some regular legitimate business activities that you might need to run or the processes that you need to run that could look risky to somebody like a next generation antivirus product that an IT provider should be able to look at and say, no, that's okay, that's trustworthy. And so they tune the product. They're watching to see what the product is reporting back and even what the product is blocking or what the product is trusting and adjusting that to what's real, what you know as far as what your business really needs to be able to do and what your security product should be helping protect you against. A next generation antivirus product is one part of a larger security scheme that might also include firewall services for your network or cloud services or SaaS provider services. But we want to make sure that there is a group that's keeping an eye on all the 
indicators that are coming from all those to be part of a full security solution for the environment. We think next generation antivirus is so important that as your IT outsourcing partner, we include next generation antivirus for your Windows based machines just by default. That's part of the service that we provide because we recognize the value and we recognize that our support team needs to have that awareness about what's going on inside the environment. Regardless of whether you're working with us or any other provider or any other antivirus product, just make sure that you're thinking about next generation antivirus. Think about who's paying attention to the information it's providing and think about who's responsible for tuning it to make sure that it's providing the protection that you want it to do. So I hope this has been helpful thinking about what your endpoint security looks like in your organization and what next generation antivirus does to contribute towards that. There's a lot of information out there, and if you'd like to learn more, I invite you to visit our Aldridge.com website, read the information that we're posting online. There's always new information and new developments in technology. It's a very exciting time. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.